Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to the Off Grid Basement. Um, I have a, uh, I have something I wanted to talk to you about. Um, as you can see, I have a 3,000 watt, 24 volt, reliable inverter, and it's connected to two 12 volt Chins batteries, which makes it a 24 volt system. The settings that I had from my solar charge controllers were to charge it all the way up to 28.6, I believe. Uh, and that would make it so these batteries uh, are charged up to 100%. Um, I did that because I kind of wanted to top balance. And so I went ahead and they charged, it was a sunny day yesterday, so I charged them all the way up to 28.6 and they went into absorption mode. Then while in absorption mode, this system is also plugged into a refrigerator. And I noticed that when that refrigerator clicked on, uh, soon after, uh, I, lost, I lost all electricity. Basically everything that was plugged into my inverter turned off. I went ahead and, and checked everything out. Um, and I found out that my inverter went into a... Uh, a high voltage disconnect is what it did. So, in order to fix that, let me let me go ahead and uh, get on the computer, and I'll kind of show you what I did to fix that. Okay, I'm at my computer. Let me go ahead and uh, turn on the screen sharing right now. Okay. Now what you're looking at right here, this is, uh, this is yesterday's stats. And these stats are from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on February 7th, which was yesterday. Um, as you can see, um, let's see, right here, if you can see my cursor, uh, this, this big bump up right here, this is where my refrigerator kicks on. And as you can see over here, we're also in absorption mode. <clears throat> and so, you know, I'm using, you know, 46 watts, no big deal. Um, it's holding steady. Uh, it's holding steady in absorption mode at 28, pretty much at 28.6, uh, 28.6 volts. And then the refrigerator kicks on right here. As you can see, both of my slower charge controllers kick up the current. Uh, one is 19.6 and the other one is 21.1 um, to, to compensate for the, uh, for the refrigerator turning on. And then the refrigerator runs for you know 17 minutes, 18 minutes, whatever. And then the, as soon as the refrigerator turns off, I noticed. As soon as the refrigerator turns off, the voltage jumps up on one of my one of my charge controllers. It, the voltage jumps up to 31.32 volts, and the reliable inverter is set to uh, disconnect at a voltage of 30.5. So, um, so that's where it disconnected. And then, as you can see, uh, after that, there's zero zero amps going going into anything and and in my dc system i have i now have nine watts six watts when before i had 40 you know 46 watts so i i believe it's when my refrigerator kicked on the voltage didn't jump up when the refrigerator kicked on but when the refrigerator turned off is when there was a big voltage jump and that I'm not really sure why. Here is what I'm thinking. The voltage jump is happening because we are in absorption mode. So the battery is not accepting any more voltage. And I don't know if that's because of the BMS in the battery. If, if it's because, well, I, I shouldn't say that it's because we're in absorption mode. My absorption mode was set for 28.6, which is at 100% of the battery. 
So I believe that the BMS in the battery would just, it would not accept any more voltage at all. So this voltage, since it's, uh, you know, it's doing the whole path of least resistance thing, the only place else that it can go is to the inverter. And that's when the inverter jumps up past 30.5 and shuts off. But I was very surprised by this because I was expecting the inverter to shut off when the refrigerator kicks on. But that's not the case in, in this example because it shows that the inverter is actually turning off when the refrigerator turns off. Because all that extra voltage has to go somewhere and it can't go into the batteries because my batteries are completely full. So, what I did was today, I went ahead and lowered my voltage. So let's go ahead and run this same scenario, but for today. So from 11 a.m. 11 today to 1 p.m. Here again, you can see my refrigerator kicking on. And we are in, we're in absorption mode again. But this time you can see that it, it jumps up um, and there's no, you can see there's no voltage increase at all. Up here, these, these two, the two solar charge controllers, they are both staying at 28 volts exactly. Uh, the amperage jumps up a little bit just to compensate for, uh, for the refrigerator. And then the refrigerator runs for you know 17 minutes, and when it kicks off, you do see a, uh, a a small voltage jump, just a very small one to 28.6, and then it lowers way down to 27.78, and then it goes back up to 28.09 on this east panel uh, charge controller. But it doesn't get anywhere near that 30.5 of where the inverter kicks off. And you can see that, um, you know, since I'm, I'm, I'm also floating it at 28 volts now. And over here in the, in the, in the amp hours that I have, you know, I, I only have 8.6 amp hours left until my battery is completely full. And, you know, that is, you know, when you're talking about a 600 amp battery, uh, what, what is that? That's less than 2%. Is that right? Because 6 amps would be 1% of 600. So it's like 1.2% 1, 1 uh, from 100%. So I'm at like, I'm at like 98 point eight percent right here just by keeping it at 28 volts opposed to trying to get it all the way up to you know 28.6 where I would have the issue of my inverter doing a high voltage disconnect so uh, I guess what well, I guess what I'm saying is if you have a reliable inverter and you're having an issue with your inverter doing a over voltage disconnect the things that you should be thinking about are what do i have plugged into my inverter do you have a a, a, a big load plugged into your inverter that runs you know every hour but pulls a lot of current and volts everything like that uh, especially i mean if you have like a well pump or if you have a sub pump or a refrigerator something that kicks on and uses a lot of electricity, that's something you need to think about. Because if you're pushing your batteries all the way up to the recommended 100%, which in my, in my example, in my system is 28.6, um, if your batteries are at 100%, that electricity, those, that voltage has nowhere else to go but your inverter. Uh, so, I think the only way to really alleviate the problem of this over voltage with your inverter 
is to just have your solar charge controllers absorb at just a slightly lower voltage. Uh, for me, I'm going down from 28.6 volts to 28. And again, you know, I'm only losing 2%. And that is, that is no big deal. And it shouldn't be a big deal if, if 2%, if, if 2% uh, is, is keeping you awake at night, then you need to increase the, uh, the amp hours of your system. You need to increase the watt hours of your system. So um, please, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And uh, if you like this video, please uh, hit that like button. And, uh, and if you like my videos, please subscribe. It always helps. Thank you so much, and I hope this helps somebody. Uh, Y'all have a great night. Bye-bye.